Hi, I'm not Adam. This is not tested, and it's not a one-day build. But you might be reminded of those things, because this is definitely inspired by Adam and the way he organizes his shop. Um, with this, I'm trying to solve a problem, which is that it seems like every project, no matter how big or small, the same set of tools just appears all over the workbench. I don't know how they get there. They just appear. It's probably me putting them there. Um, but I was thinking if all those tools had a home with a small footprint, it could just live here right on the workbench. And maybe as I was working, I would actually put them away. And if not, at least when it was time to put them away, I wouldn't have to be walking to put them back in the tool chest or you know, wherever they live. It would all just be right here and be quick to clean up. And if I need to move that out of the way, it's got a nice handle. I could just pick it up and move it somewhere. So that's the theory. And the main thing I wanted was a drill that was set up for doing screws. Because when you think about it, I, I want to put a screw in some you know, little fixture that I'm working on for the shop. Um, so I get out the drill. I get out the drill bits, put the drill bit in the drill. I drill the hole. Maybe if I'm feeling fancy, I get out another drill with the countersink in it and I countersink the hole. And then I get out the impact driver. And I get out the screws. I put the screw in and all this stuff is all over the workbench. And you're saying, but wait, Kevin, there are these cool drill bits with the countersink already built into it and you don't, you don't, you don't need this, right? All right, well, I've got those, right? I've got this set here, came from a place I won't mention. And I've got the, the little drill bit with the countersink thing. And there's just one problem with this thing, which is that the drill bit is terrible. Okay, it's, it's one of these tapered drill bits. And this is my only experience with tapered drill bits. This one is terrible. Uh, it just burns and clogs and it just doesn't, it fails at drilling, which is its one job. But this thing is cool in that it has an extra feature, which is, it's got this driver and the drill bit has this hex shank on here. So this can just be in the drill and you leave it in the drill and you snap this on and now you can drive the screw. So instead of swapping the drill bit for the driver, you're just putting one on top of the other and taking it off, which is a little bit easier. But you've never seen me use this thing, even though I've had it for more than 10 years because it sucks at drilling. So I finally went out and I bought a regular countersink and I 3D printed the little hex part. It was on here. So now it works with this. And I added a holder for this thing. So it holds the driver. When I want to drive the screw, boom. Drive the screw. Drill the hole. Really quick change. Now, another part of this is with this drill, with the big battery, it's just so easy to put this down on the workbench like that. And it's, you know, it's with the weight of the battery, it doesn't tip over. I'm not worried about it falling off the workbench. So it's just so much easier to put it down than it is to actually put it away, even though it's home is right here. So this drill I bought just for doing this and holding this setup for screws. It's only got the little battery. So you can stand it up like this, but that looks precarious and I'm not gonna do that. So it's got its little home and it's right at a comfortable height. So it's right right at the height where you'd be using it, right? So it just goes right in there. So as long as this is pointed at me, it's actually easier to put it away than it is to put it on the bench. So I'm thinking, right? 
So this is built around holding that drill. Underneath, I've got my sanding block, which I actually forgot about when I was, you know, thinking about what tools to put in here. I forgot about this, but it just happens to fit perfectly right in there. So some things are just meant to be, right? All right, now on this side, layout and measuring. So, and we won't go too much into this, but the thing I want to mention is everything on here is laid out to make it easy to get it on and off. This square is tilted out at a little bit of an angle, so it's easy to grab the blade, but it's not sticking out at the bottom, so it's easy to get this square out. Got a place for pencils. And probably my favorite feature on this whole thing is this pencil sharpener. Having a pencil sharpener right on the workbench, it's the best thing ever. And this calculator is right at a good height for standing. And I can just see it and blah, 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 right? Tape measure. Tape measure never really had a home in the shop. It would, uh, it would just live on the workbench or under the workbench or whatever. So now it's got a spot right on top where I can see it. I can get to it even, even from here with like the worst place. I can still, uh, still reach that. And then up here, I've got just a very small sampling of inch and a half screws. And this drill bit is set up for drilling inch and a half screws. So my thinking here is I've already got a place where I've got a whole assortment of screws. I don't need a whole assortment of screws here, but you know, sometimes they just want to screw something real quick. So I've got just a, just a handful of screws up here where I can just put something together without having to go fishing for screws. And on this side, the mallet here, quarter inch chisel. Now, as far as the chisels go, I looked at my chisels and the ones I use the most have a label on them. And you can tell by the wear on the labels how often I use each chisel. And by far, the narrowest chisel gets the most use. And then there's one other chisel in the middle that gets some use. And I've got an extra spot here. I may, I may add that middle chisel right in here and I made this block here screwed on everything else is put together with CA glue real quick but I I knew I would I had some extra space in here so I made that removable so I could you know take this out and add to it so the quarter inch chisel and all a knife probably that middle chisel and then I've got a beater chisel, which is this, this poor chisel that I scrape glue with and whatnot. I'm probably gonna put that right here. And then on the back, I've got my magnifying uh, glasses, which used to live on the wall and get used once in a blue moon. But now that I'm middle-aged and can't see anymore, uh, I use these every day and you know, this sitting on the workbench takes up almost as much space as this whole thing. So just this being up on here is already almost the same amount of space on the workbench as, you know, this. Now there's one other little trick to this thing, which is it's very heavy and even tipping it this far, like that's the balance point right here. This thing will not tip over. Why won't it tip over? Because in the base is a piece of cast iron. This uh, came from my combination disc sander and strip sander. And the disc sander table which this is, uh, you don't even want to get me started on that tool. Uh, there's just no good way of mounting this thing. It, the, the bracket that holds the thing up was a joke. 
and I complained about it, and they sent me a second one. So, uh, <laughs> I've had two of these things sitting around. Uh, so you can't throw this away. I mean, it's too nice. You've got to find a use for it. And I finally found a use for it because it's like the perfect size for this thing. So, um, I guess I need to make another one. I, I don't know. Uh, this one's just going to have to wait for its turn. There's one more thing I want to add, which is a place for a folded over 120 grit disc. I'm always grabbing this thing, you know, to ease an edge somewhere. I'm just got to find a spot. But maybe, you know, the sanding block is over here, so maybe like over here somewhere. Or... I'm not sure. Maybe over here. Somewhere. So that's my thinking with this thing. Am I going to like using this over the long term? I have no idea. But I have used it on a simple project. I needed to add this paper holder underneath my miter saw. This is for covering up the workbench with paper. Um, I just had to screw on these two brackets. And it was great to just be able to grab the drill. It was ready to go. Drill the holes. The screws were right here. I cut that down in no time. And it didn't make a big mess. So, so far so good.